So in this video, we're going to look at the basics of osmosis and just what the heck osmosis is. We're going to actually, you know, play with some molecules to figure it out. So osmosis, right? This should hopefully be something we remember from high school and junior high. If not, totally cool. We'll figure it out now, okay? So osmosis is basically the ability of water or the solvent to pass between a semi-permeable membrane. Ooh, okay, so semi-permeable membrane. Okay, definitely gonna be something we need to know. And basically the easiest way to, I think, to think about this is like your screen door. Okay, so think about your screen door in summer, right? Your screen door allows this nice cool breeze to come in your house and uh, you know, that's, that's wonderful, but it also keeps the things you don't want out of your house, right? The bugs are not coming into your house. That's why we have a screen, okay? This is what the semi-permeable membrane does. It lets water, the solvent, flow through. It does not let the other things like the solute flow through. So your salts and your other things will stay on one side, but water can flow back and forth nicely between, okay? Okay, so typically your water or your, your solvent, all right, it's almost always water. Okay, so water is going to be able to flow between two different concentrations, okay? So typically your semi-permeable membrane will separate uh, a concentrated and a diluted solution, okay? All right, so they're going to flow between this one side is concentrated, one side is diluted solution. So depending on what your teachers have told you in the past, okay, there's two ways that they talk about this. They'll say it goes from a high concentration down to a low concentration, okay, or they'll say that it goes um, from dilute to concentrated. Okay, these things seem like they're very contradictory. So what the blank, okay? Uh, let's make sure that we understand what is going on because I don't want you to get confused, especially depending on whatever your background is in understanding this or if you're going to the Googles and trying to understand this, okay? Both are technically true so long as you understand what the heck they mean, all right? So don't get confused, all right? Um, here's how I like to think about it, okay? Big picture, kind of main idea for me. Main idea, okay, is that water will flow to even out the concentrations, right? So water's going to flow whichever direction so that there is a, an even concentration. You're not going to have a concentrated on one side and a diluted on the other. It's going to flow so that both sides are going to be an even concentration. Okay, so it takes a minute to set up, but hopefully this will help, okay? So uh, osmosis is, I have two different concentrations, okay, separated by this semi-permeable membrane, okay? So like a screen door, right? So the water can go through but the salt that's dissolved in it can't fit through, okay? Water particles can fit through, Whee! salt cannot, or whatever the solute is cannot, okay? So if I'm looking at this, right now both these water levels are at the same height, okay? Uh, you would assume this is split down the middle. I, I have the exact same volume. However, I have more solute dissolved on this right-hand side than on this left-hand side. Okay, so you can see that there's a higher concentration of my salt on the right. There's a lower concentration of my salt to the left. Water wants to flow through this membrane so that the concentrations are equal. Okay, so that I have an equal ratio of salts to water. So you can see water is not going to want to go to the left. Right, water in this case is going to want to flow to the right. So I'm going to have some water... Basically, I mean, water is like separated by a semi-permeable membrane, thinking 
like water can think, okay? But thinking, oh no, there's so much salt over here. I have to go over there to try and even it out, okay? So that's why in something like this, it will say water is going to move from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution because it is, right? Water is going to move from the diluted concentration over to the side that has the, you know, the concentrated situation. That water is going to want to try and dilute the concentrated side. It wants to even it out. The other way that you can think about it is that water is going to move from a high to low concentration. Talking about water itself. So looking at you know, this side, there's more water on this side, so this is the higher concentration of water, so it's going to move from high to low concentration of water. It's, I, I hate that there are literally two ways to describe the same thing that seem to be totally contradictory to each other. Are you going from high to low concentration or are you going from dilute to concentrated? What the blank? Okay, so just Take a deep breath and, and try and use common sense. You want to even out the concentrations of your solution, okay? So this one's diluted. There's more water on this side. Water's going to flow from where there's more water to where there's less water, to where there's a higher concentration of salt, okay? So water's gonna flow through. Okay, so now when I'm looking at my actual concentrations of the left hand and the right hand side, I have relatively the same concentration, right? So now I have, you know, the ratio of waters to salts on my left is going to be about equal with the ratio of salts to water on my right. Okay, my, my water has evened out the concentration on both sides, okay? So what this actually means, if you look, right, the water levels have changed. They started out at the same level, and now the left-hand side has gone down and the right-hand side has gone up. Okay, it's fascinating, and you can actually do this, all right? This is something called osmotic pressure, or I'm going to talk about it in a bit, okay? But you can literally make this water climb up, okay? You are, you are forcing this water to have a higher volume, okay, have more volume than this water because they are separated by that semi-permeable membrane and water is going to flow from, you know, from one side to the other to balance out those concentrations, okay? All right, so what would that look like if you actually had um, practice problems, okay? So you might have something like this. Oh, my drawings are just, okay, wonderful. You might have something that says like two molar HCl versus one molar HCl. Or you have 0 0.5 molar uh, NaCl versus 15 molar <laughs> NaCl, okay? And you might be asked to draw an arrow to show which way the water is going to flow, okay? So if you were thinking about this, one molar hydrochloric acid versus two molar hydrochloric acid, okay? The two molar side has a lot more acid in it than the one molar side, which means the water is going to flow from my lower concentration, from my diluted solution into my concentrated solution, okay? <laughs> so that's an arrow, terrible arrow. You get it, okay? So it, flo it flows to the left in this case, all right? Versus in this case, 15 molar NaCl, okay, is very, very concentrated versus 0.5 molar is diluted, okay? So there's more water on this side. It's going to flow to this direction to try and even out that concentration. Okay, so in this case, it'll flow to the right, okay? So you might see practice problems like this, or the other way that you can show this, okay? is like, imagine you had a cell within a solution, or you could think of it as like a bag that is being put into a solution, okay? And 
um, you have one molar versus two molar solution or um, six molar versus two molar, whatever you get, okay? So in this case, right, this is my diluted solution and on the outside is more concentrated, so water is going to be flowing out of the cell or out of the bag versus here, one molar on the outside, two molar on the inside, water will be flowing inside the bag, okay? So it's just the two different types of kind of like particle drawings or beaker drawings um, that you might come across. All right, so just keep in mind, big picture, water is going to flow whichever way will even out the concentration, okay?